Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius for the week of the 25th. If this one doesn't resonate, and it might not since it's a reading for the collective, go ahead and check out your other placements and my other readings, specifically your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway since there could be messages there for you. All right, we are looking at the overall here. I'm also gonna pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe while I have you here since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that info down below in the description box. And if you want a little more information, uh, go ahead and click the join button down below to get the extended. It's $10, you get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. All right, um, this is kind of rough. I think with the Ace of Swords in reverse, you may have been dealing with someone who is less than truthful with you. Ace of Swords in the upright is a revelation. It's kind of brutal honesty at times. In the reverse, it's someone who doesn't say what's going on. They're not being truthful with you. They're not being open. They're hiding the truth. Five of Swords can be conflict between two people. Again, it's someone who doesn't necessarily tell you everything that's going on. They may actually even lie to you here. So we have separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon, or you're already in separation from this person, I would say. All right, Seven of Cups is confusion, illusions, delusions, Sometimes it's someone with options. This could be someone who may have had other options here. Or there's just a general sense of confusion and you're really not sure what to do here. I think this person hasn't been very open with you. There's something that they kept. You may have actually found out about it or you suspect something. Maybe your intuition has been speaking to you. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations or just keep an open mind. There may be more to this story than you know. We've got the five of cups, which is regrets about the past, thinking about what I should have done or I should have said. I do think this person is regretful. I think there's maybe some guilt going on here. So let's check out your person a little bit closer and we'll see what comes out. All right, here's what we have so far. I'm also going to pull more cards from the Lightseer's Tarot, like the Three of Pentacles here. And I'm going to clarify this with the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Hold on. So the Nine of Swords is sleepless nights, it's worry, it's anxiety. Um, I do think this person is feeling guilty or maybe ashamed. Uh, this Three of Pentacles is a desire to have a conversation with you to tell you. I don't think that that's necessarily easy to do. All right, what is going on with this person? Okay, nine of cups in reverse. They're not happy. They're not feeling good. Um, this person may be apart from you. Again, separation may be going on here. Again, they miss you though. They're not feeling right. Maybe they're figuring out how to explain things to you or to give you an explanation here. Yeah, the Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm not happy. I can't sleep here. Ooh, we've got the Justice card. They're wanting to apologize or maybe make things right. I do think there's probably some truth coming here. The Justice card can mean I'm going to be truthful, I'm going to be ethical, I'm going to be open, and they maybe haven't been in the past. I don't know what they weren't honest with you about or ac what they actually lied about. Those are two different things. But there's definitely some truth that needs to come out here. Hmm. All right, let's see what's going on with this person. Oh boy. We've got the tower. This person may be having a bit of a tower moment here. This is major for Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. 
uh, given everything else that's showing up here, I don't know. It's almost like there's a little bit of destruction that happened in this person's life. Maybe their actions have caught up with them. The tower is also like a turning point for someone. Um, a tower will show up whether you're looking for it or not. It's meant to be. Hello, B. This is... <sighs> It's destruction for the sake of creation. Like whatever this is, it needed to stop so that this person can move forward on their path or maybe the two of you can move forward. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. One hand is outstretched. The other one is putting coins into it. Um, pentacles symbolize someone's time, effort, energy, valuing you, valuing the connection here. I think this person is going to give you an ex like an explanation. I think there's maybe an apology coming here, information, being honest. And I think essentially everything here kind of caught up with them. All right, let me put this in order and then we'll clarify it. And stay tuned to the end. I'm going to do a card on what this person's current feelings for you are. Tell me about... <laughs> this person yeah we've got the world Aquarius Scorpio Taurus and Leo energy you may be dealing with one of those signs the world is an ending it's the end of a cycle it's learning lessons leveling up um, some people call the major arcana the fool's journey the fool is the first card this is the last it's someone learning some lessons maybe some hard lessons here Maybe becoming older, wiser, figuring out, you know, whatever they've been doing, it isn't serving them very well. And it certainly isn't serving this relationship. So, like, this needed to come down. That's essentially what's going on. We've got the sun, major for Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo. The sun is also clarity. Maybe there's been a moment of clarity here. Or this person realized that they can't go on as they have been. The sun can also mean someone giving you clarity. For some of you, this person I think is feeling depressed or down. All right, we've got the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Possible that you are dealing with an earth sign here. Someone with earth in their chart. You can have earth in yours. King of Pentacles is also someone bringing you stability here. Or being very stable. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Ten of Swords. That's a painful ending. I think in many ways, maybe they brought this tower down themselves. But there's a lot of pain here. Um, something that stuck with me from my days as a counselor was um, I had a professor who said people don't change unless it's too painful to stay, you know, the way that they are. That's what really motivates someone to actually change. And that may be where this person is. All right, let's pull a card for how they're currently feeling about you. So let's do a little preview of the extended. What are this person's current feelings about you? What are this person's current feelings about you? How do they currently feel about you? Okay, we've got the three of cups here and we've got the tower. Well, we've got a double tower. Major for Scorpio. They may feel like they've ruined this. Um, as far as how they feel about you, they may have ruined this relationship or they feel like there was before you and after you and things will never be the same. The tower definitely is destruction, but again, there's that flip of the coin where it's, it's creation. It paves the way for a new beginning or a fresh start. I think that's what this person is hoping for. This three of cups with you. That's a reconciliation card. Um, it's getting back together. Yeah. 
maybe this person needed to have, they need to have like this kind of crash and burn moment in order to move forward with you. Assuming that's what you want. Yikes. All right. That is tough. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you want the rest of the extended, click the join button down below or look for the link in the description box. You can also find out how to order your own private reading below. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be.